and welcome to my video. First and foremost, I would like to show my deepest gratitude to the National University of Malaysia for giving me this golden opportunity to be one of their shortlisted candidates for this interview. Without further ado, let's move on to the next part of this video. Hi guys, my name is Tang Jia Hui. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Kuala Lumpur. I'm the youngest child in my family and my hobby is to watch movies and videos. I was an STPM student who studied science in 2018 at SMK Putri Jaya and I have obtained a CGPA of 3.67 for my STPM exam and a band 4 for my MOOC. During my STPM studies, I was a vice president for a blood donation event in my school and a vice secretary for the Red Crescent Society. Besides, I have participated in several activities such as Larry Medica Night Run 2018, The Hour of Codes and more. Our lives are surrounded by innovative technologies that can actually improve the quality of our lives. All of the existing electronic gadgets and apps can help us with our daily tasks such as communication and payments to be made at a faster speed at any time, anywhere. And in order to enjoy the endless luxuries and benefits that can be obtained from technology, technology has to improve and innovate according to the needs of the society. This is where my desire to study computer science came about so I can make use of my computational knowledge to innovate technologies, fulfill the needs of the society, and at last, improve the quality of our lives. My vision is to be a computer scientist that specializes in artificial intelligence or as well known as AI, because AI can assist us in many industries such as the healthcare industry and the automotive industry. This is due to the speed and precision AI provides in performing various tasks as well as its capability in handling danger and complexity. From what I know, computer science is a lifelong scientific and practical study about the theories and practices of computation. Some examples are computer programming which includes coding, programming languages such as JavaScript, and more that is yet to be discovered in the study of computer science. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and again I would like to thank the National University of Malaysia for giving me this golden opportunity to be interviewed.